हेलो गाइस वेलकम टू द फर्स्ट एपिसोड ऑफ मेडिसिन पी वाई क्यू टॉपिक सीरीज डेट इज हाइपो कैलोमिया सो लेट्स गेट स्टार्टेड सो फर्स्ट विल फोकस ऑन द पी वाई क्यू क्वेश्चन विच हैव कम इन द नीट ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी टू ट्वेंटी नाइनटीन एंड एटीन एंड विल क्विकली गो थ्रू द क्वेश्चन एंड देन विल कम बैक टू इट वंस वी गो थ्रू द टॉपिक सो द फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन विच आस्ट इज सीरो पी पलमोनल इज सीन इन विच इलेक्ट्रल एबनॉमिलिटी सेकेंड वन अ मैन ऑन डायरेटिक्स प्रेजेंटेड विद वीकनेस एंड ई सी जी डन विच रिवील्ड फ्लैट टी वेव्स एंड प्रोमिनेंट यू वेव्स वट इज द मोस्ट लाइकली डायग्नोसिस एंड द थर्ड वन इज अ फोर्टी टू ईयर ओल्ड फीमेल पेशेंट केम टू कैजुअलिटी विद कंप्लेन्स ऑफ वीकनेस पैरस्थिस एंड ब्लीडिंग डिफिकल्टी एंड रेलिवेंट इन्वेस्टिगेशन आर डन एंड द ई सी जी ऑप्टेन इज सजेस्टिव ऑफ विच इलेक्ट्रोलाइट एबनॉमिलिटी सो फर्स्ट लेट अस गो थ्रू द टॉपिक क्विकली एंड देन विल गेट बैक टू दिस क्वेश्चन सो हाइपोकेलेमिया नॉर्मल रेंज ऑफ पोटेशियम इज थ्री पॉइंट फाइव टू फाइव पॉइंट फाइव मिलीक्यून पर लीटर एनी थिंग लेस दैन थ्री पॉइंट फाइव इज हाइपोकेलेमिया ऑल्सो पोटेशियम इट इज एन इम्पॉर्टेंट इंट्रा सेलर कैटाइन विच इज प्रेजेंट मेनली इन सेट अ सेल एंड इट इज मेनली हैंडल बाई किडनीज नाउ द क्लिनिकल फीचर्स दिस इज अ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट पार्ट ऑफ द वीडियो बिकॉज दिस कुड बी गिवन एज अ क्लू इन द क्वेश्चन विच कैन हेल्प यू गेट दी एंसर फर्स्ट जनरलाइज एंड मस्कुलर सिम्टम्स लाइक फेटीग मसल वीकनेस क्रैम्स फ्लैसिड पैरालिस If it is involving the respiratory muscle, so respiratory muscle weakness and failure, cardiac symptoms are very common. Arrhythmia is there, ECG changes are there, and if it is involving smooth muscle, constipation, ileus, and bladder dysfunction could be some of these symptoms. Quickly going through the causes of hypokalemia, uh, certain medication which can cause are the loop diuretics, thiazides. Uh, you can get them as a clue in the clinical stem. Then beta two agonist. You might get a patient with bronchial asthma on beta two agonist, then presenting with hypokalemia. then gi causes which are very important like vomiting severe diarrhea transcellular shifts where alkalosis and insulin is important ones and in renal renal tubular acidosis particularly type 1 and type 2 rta and not the type 4 type 4 we generally get hyperkalemia and endocrine causes like diabetic ketoacidosis so these are the common causes which you can get as a clue in the clinical stem now the most important part of the video is the ecg changes if we see we know the normal structure of the ecg in uh, normal kalemia patients in hypokalemia how it differs is we get a slightly peak p wave uh, slightly prolonged pr interval you might get st depression flattening of t wave or shallow t wave and prominent u wave quickly revising it again flattening of t wave prominent u wave st depression pseudo p pulmonal which is a slightly peak p wave pr prolongation quiet qrs now if we go back to the question i think we can answer them very easily so the first question which was asked it was pseudo p pulmonal is seen in which electrolyte abnormality that is the slightly peaked p wave so now we know it is seen in hypokalemia again second question a man on diuretics presented with weakness and ecg done revealed flat t waves and prominent u waves so you have a clue here that patient was on diuretics that is the drug history and the clinical feature which has been given is weakness also the ecg findings are clear cut flat t waves and prominent u waves so these all are pointing towards hypokalemia the third one a 42 year old female patient came to casualty with complaints of weakness paresthesia and bleeding difficulty so they have given you three symptoms and signs which could be of anything but when you see another clue which has been given that is the ecg you can clearly see in lead to there is flattening of t waves there is prominent u waves and also there is st depression in v2 so that gives you a clue that the ecg is suggestive of hypokalemia and you can easily mark hypokalemia lastly the treatment part uh, if the patient is accepting orally you can give oral corrections and uh, if not we can give iv kcl infusion uh, for severe hypokalemia always iv infusions are uh, suggested particularly under monitoring in icu and also we have to treat the underlying causes if any so this was it i hope you got a quick revision of the topic uh, of hypokalemia till then keep studying keep revising i'll see you in the next episode cheers